When we are thinking about AJAX systems, what comes to mind is a professional alarm system. You install it in your business, you install it in your house, and you are sure you are secured. But did you know that you have also the option to install it in more remote locations? Let's say you have a boat, you have an RV, or even on a construction site where you don't have access to power, you can use their PSU 12 volt that you can install inside the Hub 2 Plus, which is the brain of the device. So now we're gonna open the Hub and show you how to install the 12 volt, 24 volt power supply. Let's get to it. You bought yourself a 12 volt, 24 volt PSU for your Up2 Plus, you got yourself a new RV and you want to install it. So what's in the box? You guys will get an output for your power supply. So this is for your battery. You will connect a positive and a negative to power up your Up2 Plus. And you will also have this module that will show you exactly how to install inside of your hub. So first off, you take your hub, so the one you have at home, or maybe you bought another one for your, this specific installation. And now I want you to remove the smart bracket. So as you know, with most Ajax device, all you need to do is slide it down and you're able to remove it from there. And now this is an important part that we need to emphasize on it. So remove the cables. So you remove your cat -fav cable. I'm gonna drop it on the floor. You remove your power cable and now the up 2 plus is still working. The reason why is it also operate on a battery. So when your hub is disconnected, it's still able to send some signal. It's the brain of your system. So what you're gonna do to disconnect it, it's to press this button. So you're gonna push it for two seconds. When you push it for two seconds, like I just did, well, now the battery is also shut down. So you're able to open your hub. But first off, again, some precaution because it was powered by a battery there's some maybe energy inside your app so you need to wait at least five minutes for it to discharge so we're gonna wait five minutes with you guys and then up to the screwdriver and we're gonna disassemble the up 2 plus to install our brand new model and now you have your screwdrivers you have your four bits inside your app so behind the smart bracket and it's time to remove them I will put in the description below the bit you need for this exact up to plus. And it is really important to use end tools. So don't use power tools because you will strip the screws really easily. And this is how you can have problem. A good trick is to put your screws in the smart bracket. So this way you're sure not to lose them. All right, so three more to go. So we remove all four screws that you see here, and now we're able to remove the back panel to have access to the module of the Up2 Plus. Now, you, you need some time, so be patient. A good way is to grab on the sides and just pull like so, and it will show you the module right here. So again, take your time, it's not a race, and you will be able to complete the remaining task at hand. Now, we have this part here and this is the one we're gonna replace. But all the board needs to come off together because there are the connectors right here and to remove it, well, you need to remove also this part. So now it's figuring out how many screws there are. So on this side, you have one, two, three, four screws. And on this side of the board, so you have one, two, three, four, and five, one in the middle. So make sure you remove all five from this side and all four from this side before trying to pull. And then I'll show you how to try and keep the connector together. So let's get to it. You can keep the same bit you had previously to remove all bits, so all screws from the module. All right, so last screw is off now. Here you see the connector. So we're gonna take each side of the module. So pushing a little bit on this side, pushing a little bit on this side. And now we're gonna do it gently. So again, make sure everything is 
properly remove. So we're gonna push a little bit on this side and now we can remove it together. Again, it's not a raise guys. So there you have your module like this. So what we're gonna do now is pull them apart. So I'm gonna remove this piece. All you need to do is pull and now the bridge is disconnected. All right, so putting the leftover part here, we have the bridge here, and now we need to connect our power supply. So exactly like the one you had before, so you have the bridge that you will need the connector here, so you can compare them, and then we will connect it to the hub. So focus, it's the lower one, so you have two types of parts, you have the up and down. To be uh, on the right side, you need the lower one. So the below row here, we're gonna put it together here. So answering the bridge, push. And now time to have some more fun. So we're gonna rescrew all nine bits. Now that the board is placed here, you have your screws inside the smart bracket as you mentioned before, so we don't lose them. You take your screw, you take your screwdriver, and let's have some more fun. So nine more screws to install. You have your hole, let's get to it. Your new PSU is installed, and as you can see, you have a new out input also. So this is where you would connect your uh, power supply for your out 2 plus but also you have access to this adapter as i mentioned in the start if you want to connect your battery directly in it so all you need to do is put it inside and this way you can connect it and power your out 2 plus and don't forget before you do this put all four screws inside your hub there you have it you installed your brand new 12 volt 24 volt psu inside your hub 2 plus this way it becomes the brain for any remote site that you need to install it on so any kind of projects that you have that does not have any kind of connection well you can now use a battery to power up your up 2 plus if you need more solution like this one well honestly there's a lot of choice to choose from. When you look inside our People System channel, you have multiple solutions like this one that you can find. If we're talking about new solution, well, you even have right here, active deterrence for your cameras. Any kind of solution that you can come up with for projects, we have on our channel. Our goal is to educate you installers to know exactly what to quote, what to do when you have bigger projects and different projects. So subscribe, like, comment, hit the bell button so this way you will always be in the known when you have new projects coming up and you're looking for new products to build on your projects. See you on the next one.